Hello and welcome to the final video for the Turner Violent module. Um, this video and it is the final video is going to be slightly longer than the previous one and I'm also going to be focusing on three main areas. So they are reflecting on my own experience, the self critique in the organisation case Northwest Cycle Coaching in their coaching practice and the library policy. And finally, what did I learn about myself? Did I enjoy it and where's next? So firstly we're looking at reflecting my own experience. Throughout the weeks I've done placement sessions, working with the turbo sessions and working with the lead coach, I've tried to use a variety of different tools and theories that I've got from coaching toolkit module and improve performance. Now these have been mentioned in previous videos, um, as you would have seen so far in the series, but I'm just going to go over three now. So the first one I looked at self-determination theory and how to motivate the athletes. So if you remember from a previous video, I looked at ways of how I was struggling to get the athletes motivated and focused and how I managed to overcome that challenge. Another one is actually paying close attention to my coaching behaviour style. So perhaps using more one-to-one -one with different riders or the actual teaching styles. So some sessions I've tried to be more autographic in terms of you must do this, this and this. Whereas other sessions for different group of riders I sort of let them choose what they want to do in the sense of how much effort they want to put in. So then that brings me on to my next part really, is that I found that some theories and practices have gone easier, while others have been harder and less successful. Now, this has been due to a variety of factors, may not necessarily be down to the theory or the perhaps um, method of doing things, it could just be external factors, whether that should be the way that the riders have taken it, the way that the lead coach has taken it, or it could just be my way of introducing it may not be necessarily the most effective way of doing it with a young group of riders. Now in the next section I mentioned we are critiquing the organisation. So first thing we look at coaching practice and when I've been witnessing my lead coach do different practices throughout the placement session, I've noticed that some weeks are very effective However, there is always something that could be changed, in my opinion, that would work better. And the thing that's really stood out for me is one particular way I remember quite clearly is that the lead coach had been quite critical to one particular rider. It was only it was a young rider who he wanted, the lead coach wanted the particular rider to go develop their performance. Now this particular rider didn't particularly want to do that, he had a different viewpoint, different set of goals and actually wanted to be there more for social reason and therefore didn't put in as much effort as the lead coach would like them to. This led to, in my opinion, the young rider sort of having a damaged relationship with the coach um, and the lead coach actually did pick up on it towards the end of the session when I mentioned it to him and actually he went over and almost explained to the rider why he'd done that and they had a quick chat about actually what the young rider wanted out of the sessions. I hope that was now resolved. But actually, when you look at it on a broader scale and look at the organisation as a whole, I've mentioned in previous videos about national and local policies, is that they are quite well aligned in terms of, for example, Sport England, where they're looking towards an active nation, they are quite supportive of their volunteers and coaches. But also, when you look at local, you've got threat to physical activity and sport strategy, which I've mentioned in a previous video, and they are very good at getting new people into sport and retaining them. Now this then brings me on to my last section which is very much what I would about myself. Well, firstly I didn't enjoy it as much as I hoped I would. Now this could have been down to the fact that actually I learned something about myself in the sense that I don't particularly enjoy coaching in an environment that is very restrictive. In this case being an indoor environment where the people, the adults and the younger riders are on turbo training they're stationary and the coaching is very much the same week in and week out. I much prefer and I've learnt that I prefer things where it's a very dynamic environment, things are changing from week to week and that's in generally tend to be achieved in an outdoor environment. But overall I did learn things from it and be able to put things into practice had been very beneficial for me understanding the theories and in terms of where I can use them in the future sessions. Which brings items to where next well if I have to do play position in the future, 
I actually think for me, the next place to go is perhaps to look at traps like coaching in Manchester and working with different coaches in a velodrome style, which is a much more dynamic environment where there's a lot more variety of coaching techniques, skills, both in performance and in development. So I hope you found the series useful and interesting, and I look forward to seeing you in the future. Bye, Stephanie.